Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are back with Premier League predictions for the upcoming season, but they're not my predictions, they're cookies. It's me again, doing some predictions and that. What are you thinking? Premier League would be interesting? Way more interesting than the Championship, yeah. You reckon? Yeah, I can't be bothered with the Championship. I mean, that is pretty disrespectful considering most of the viewers are Championship viewers. But anyway, let's get into this. So then, how this video is going to work is we've got the top four category, the fifth to ninth category, the mid-table teams surviving the drop, and our bottom three. You can see the 20 Premier League teams scattered across the bottom here. Let's start with Arsenal then. Cookie, what are you thinking? Right, I've got Arsenal down here in the fifth to ninth category. Okay. I just think like... They're all right, but they're going to need a good summer. They're going to need uh, to bring players in and really mm. strengthen the squad, right? And I think they've, they're on to a good future. Is it going to be this soon? I don't think so. I'm going to go fifth. They're going to stagnate. Maybe do well in the cup competition or something. Yeah. But I'm not really... I'm not looking for like a top four thing for them, you know? Okay, next up, Everton. Everton. Where have I put Everton, Matthew? I've put Everton 10 to 14th mid-table. Mm. They're, uh, I don't know. I think they're going to have a bit of a better year. Um, they're going to strengthen a little bit. Tarkowski's going over there right now, so that's good for their like, back line. Um, they might be able to shark up some uh, more Burnley players because they're going to have a bit of a, a rough time, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so if they can get some more Burnley players, like really like steady that defence there, it could be all right, you know, like just mid-table obscurity, I suppose. What do you think of Lampard, though? Do you rate him? Mm, he's all right. I, I don't think we've seen enough of him in like top-flight football to really make a judgment. He did he did a good job with Chelsea uh, yeah. in, under under like circumstances. Yeah. Um, and... I don't know, maybe he's got a bit of backing here at Everton. I don't really know much yeah. about them, to be honest, in terms of, like, will the owner back him? I, I assume they will, and they'll give him, like, funds to get people. So it could be all right. Okay, next up, one of our favourites. We like Brentford. Yeah, we like Brentford, and I've put Brentford in my 10 to 14 mid-table. Mid-table yeah, for Brentford. I think they're going to progress on what they did last year. Yeah, um, they, they were good. They were good, man. Good, mate, yeah. Like, pretty happy days. Like, the XG champions, they were... They had a good season, you know. Like I think if you were looking at XG, they were in the top eight, so they had a really good time of it. And if they can strengthen, get some bigger, better players in, mate, they could be looking really good. Yeah. Not a case for second season syndrome. No, no I don't think so. I don't think they've really got that in them. I think they're in, like they can build on that foundation they laid last year. I didn't. They didn't look like they were overperforming or anything like that. They just played really good football. Okay, Manchester United. I've got Man U in the five to nine. Um, the the second one down there. Yeah. So Man U, it's. They're a weird one, aren't they? Because, like, I've seen these, like, football conspiracies knocking about, and it's like, Man United never won, but they still finish in the top six, isn't it? Mm. Or something like that. And it's like, it's true. But I don't know, like, Ten Hag, it's going to be a big overhaul. Frankie de Jong's going. So it's like, is is it going to be the turnaround for Man United? I'm not sure. It could be a rebuild season. Who knows? But I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. But I'm not going for a top four now. And I'd imagine Man City straight up in the top four. Yeah, top four. Get them in the top four. Like, so dominant in English football right now. There's not really much. And they've just signed Haaland. Yeah. What's that about? That's filth, isn't it? And, and you, to think they won the league without him last year. Honestly. They didn't really have a recognised striker, did imagine they? Imagine this. They could have 100 points this next year. It's dirty. Um, but it'd be interesting to see, nonetheless, I suppose. It's like, basically, it's it's they they are the favourites. Yeah. Like, without a shadow of a doubt and it's like who can take them on and the next team maybe Liverpool's next team they've got to be in there haven't they I've put them in top four although I was thinking maybe five to nine as well really I think Liverpool are due uh, a rebuild they they could lose Mane they could lose Salah and that could go tits up you've got to think about it right that's a lot of goals and lots of goal contributions they've got to replace and it's not easy as like just clicking your fingers and then yeah lovely we've got these players in now like it's not like that, and I think Klopp's great, but sometimes when you look at his career, like as a manager, he has spells of like they build, they build, they get to a pinnacle, they drop. Okay. And I think Liverpool are due that, and it might happen next season. I'm not too sure, but we'll wait and see. It, it could be an interesting one, but I'm going to stick that top four. Top or four. Could be um, the next one. Aston Villa. I've gone Villa five to nine. Really? Yeah, a rate Gerard as a manager. Wow. And Villa very ambitious. Yeah, very ambitious. Big the, club. the players they sign, mate, is amazing. Mm. And uh, I think if they can make that click, then definitely uh, top table team, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I like. It pains me as a Coventry fan, obviously, <laughs> but um, I think they're looking pretty good. And maybe going into this next season, they can they can do the business as well. Yeah. Imagine if they were to sign like Suarez or something. Yes, I I can see that happening though. Wow. Like, it's I think it's Gerard though, isn't it? I yeah. think he's the pull. Like. Who wouldn't want to play for Steven Gerrard? Mm. Steven Gerrard. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a madness. And I think, yeah, why not? Like I can see them definitely doing all right next season. First of the newly promoted teams. Bottom a three. AFC Bournemouth, bottom three. Get them three. down there. Yeah. 
get them down there. Yeah, we said this off camera, but I, I think these teams that have come up, I, I I look at everyone else in the league, and I really can't see them being as strong as anyone else. Okay, so Bournemouth, not really much of a chance. I think out of the the other teams that have come up, Bournemouth have got the strongest chance of surviving. Wow. Out of, out of Fulham you and still Forest. Back them to go down. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it, unfortunately. <sighs> Okay, fair enough. Here's what it is. Um, Brighton? Uh, five to nine, mate. Wow. You know I'm a Graham Potter fanboy. Yeah, interesting. They smashed it this last season as well. Yeah. Just constantly mid-table. Honestly, a bit of backing for Brighton. Like, if they could get some bigger names in, mate, that'd be unbelievable. Yeah. I would, I would like him as England manager. Graham yeah, Potter. he's a good manager. Yeah, forget Southgate. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. So negative. Well, I don't really understand how he got the job anyway. But oh, he's a yes man, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I really like Brighton um, mainly because of Graham Potter, the way they play, how good they are. Sick XG champions again, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love it. I think they're decent, and hopefully next next year it's another good season for them. Absolutely, Chelsea. Uh, I've gone for top four, but also I think it could be a a difficult one for them. Okay, I'm look like they've got a good team. Don't get me wrong. Um, now you're gonna have to wise me up. Can they make transfers? Can they do all of that business? Yeah, I think they can. They can, they? yeah. Because they've got the ownership like thing happening, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, well, it's it's a very... I think it's hard doing these predictions when there's something so complicated going yeah. on at a club. Yeah. So if they can make transfers, then yeah, I'll, I'm happy for a top four, right? Like, they've got a, a good core there. Really yeah. good stuff. Um, if there's some like dodgy transfer business going on and players have to leave, then I'm probably looking at them thinking could be a bit of a rough season maybe yeah. a five to nine but I'll stay in that top four based on like good things happening like top four like um, like transfers are allowed and all that yeah. Chris- yeah Crystal Palace do you know what I've gone Palace in the 10 to 14 uh, the mid table I, I did the same when I did mine Palace are a decent team uh, they had a really good season yeah. um, now if they can like strengthen again I, I wouldn't be overly like afraid of putting them into the five to nine okay but um, I'm going to go mid table because this season, you could see they were actually pretty good, right? Um, XG-wise, was a bit meh, but they they drew a lot of games. And obviously, if that can go either way, then yeah, obviously, you might be putting them in surviving. But if it goes the other way, mate, they could be flying. Like yeah. They were really good against some teams. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Vieira's done a good job. And if they can strengthen, make some good signings, then they'll be looking all right, I think. Fulham. Relegated. <laughs> Wow, sorry, Fulham fans, what are you saying? It's a ping pong football team, isn't it? They're just yo yo, um, yeah, proper yo yo team. Just like they're just a Norwich. It's it's going to be next year's Norwich, I would say. And um, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why you're saying that because they keep going up and yeah, down. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I just I don't see them doing much. Like, nah, it's not for me them. Okay, yeah, not for me. Leeds United. Uh, where have I put them? I've put them 15 to 17 surviving. Okay, so yeah, similar to last season? First one in that one. Yeah, pretty much. What yeah. about Jesse March? I really don't see I don't much know much there. about him. I don't see much at all. But um, enough to enough for them to stay up again? Yeah, I would guess so. Just for the quality of players. But that's, again, it's a difficult one. Maybe after the transfer window, we can sit back here and say, oh yeah, actually. Because what if Rafinha goes? What if Rodrigo goes? Calvin Phillips? All of these players, you know, like these are big players for Leeds. Uh, Rafinha, man, he's class. And I think he's probably on a lot of top four teams window you know what I mean mm. like they're probably looking at him thinking yeah he'll be good like Liverpool weren't they linked with him or something I think they were weren't they yeah man if he goes Liverpool like dangerous for Leeds that is but yeah, yeah I don't know I think um, Harrison as well actually Harrison's a baller yeah um, so there's, there's a lot of good players there Bamford uh, do you rate Bamford not really no um, I just I don't know I like he's I think when you want a goal scorer he's not really that sort of geezer like, okay. do you know what I mean he's not clinical um, I would say he does seem to miss good chances but score well the hard ones. Yeah. yeah and I don't want that in a striker that annoys that really annoys me um, I want someone who just sticks the ball in the back of the net just that's it lovely um, so I don't know any of those good players go though and they're in trouble okay big Le- trouble Leicester City I've put them in the 5-9 to nine. I think they're going to have a bit of a rebound season yeah it weren't great last year yeah they're in Europe though aren't they and I, I said think that yeah. they're going into this next season not in Europe they're just going to uh or did they make it into the... They didn't, did they? No, they finished um, eighth. Did they, well, is that the uh, conference? They didn't go no. conference. Yeah, so no Europe. I think they're going to have a bit of a better season. Um, another one, maybe, do they need to strengthen? I think Brendan Rodgers, though, like... He doesn't really... I don't... Has he got the minerals in the Premier League? I mean, to be fair, what he's done with Leicester, he's won an FA Cup, he took them to a semi-final. Yeah. And, I suppose is when we look at it. Liverpool, he had a good Liverpool team. Bottled it, but like... The yeah. defence for that Liverpool team is a bit rubbish though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you look at the players they had and you think, how did they do that then? Mm. Um, but I don't know. 
th there are question marks over them, but I think no Europe. There are there is quality there. If mm. they can keep like players like Tielemans, yeah, I think they'll be all right. Yeah, I think again, so. could be mid table if they don't keep them. Yeah, very good point. Newcastle. Um, this was I've put these in. Um, I've actually put these in five to nine, um, but we're going to stick them in the mid table. I've actually made a mistake, but it's all right. Don't worry. Okay. Um, stick them in mid table now. <laughs> What I put on my paper is they could swap in and out with Villa, right? Okay. So what my logic was is uh, the transfers, the money they've got. Yeah, and I was thinking Villa. I don't know, like they're good, they could strengthen, but Newcastle, I think, I like if they could really bring in some like heavy duty players. Do you know what I mean? Then they could be looking really good because aren't they on form? Like the second half of the season, they were like the second best team in the league, weren't they? Newcastle it was something ridiculous that they, they needed so many points to stay up and they smashed it and if they could take that into the new season they'll be looking pretty sick but um, yeah so for me it was it was between Newcastle and Aston Villa for 5-9 to nine. I went with Villa but it could also be Newcastle but we'll, we'll just stick with that that looks okay uh, Tottenham Hotspur top 4 top 4 I mean they look good under Conte Conte it's, yeah. it's him what a mate, man's a wizard <laughs> like they were dead and buried under Nuno Santos weren't they they looked horrific. Conte comes in and they're just smashing everybody. I know they had that little spell where they lost like three or four games in a row. After that, they just battered everyone. Mm. Like, it's a really good team. And again, if they can bring some like big game players, they're going to be they're going to be serious contenders. I reckon. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, West Ham United. Uh, Mid table, mate. Okay. So yeah. a bit of a drop off. Yeah, I think they're over. I think they've been overperforming. To be Ooh. honest. Yeah. I I wouldn't. I don't know. I just think. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, I don't. Nothing inspires me about them. But they've got Rice. They've got Antonio. They've got some decent players there. I like Sochek. Yeah. Don't rate them. No, no, not really. No. Um, they're all right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to slag these players off. They're Jared good players. Bowen. I like Jared, Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen's had a really good season. Don't get me wrong. Um, do I think they've got it for next season? I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to say mid table, and I'm quite confident with that. You know. Okay. Like between 10 and 14 that's that's my sort of thing yeah now this is interesting there's three teams left one of them's going down is it Southampton it's not Southampton no where are they going they're going surviving ok Southampton <laughs> to stay up Southampton to survive and I'm going to say James Ward Prowse is that what's tipping yeah, but, it for you um, yeah I mean he's a great player and he like his class um, but I just think they're one of these teams they're like a Burnley do you know what I mean but they play a bit better football than Burnley but right. they're, they're just they're just this annoying team that just is happy to consolidate they're I mean they're not a, they're not going to compete with some of the clubs that are in the top half there because some of them have got better resources and bigger sort of stature of club I suppose yeah I, I understand that entirely but there doesn't seem to be any ambition okay like, it just seems to be they're happy to pick up their paycheck every year and Keep go home do you know what I mean and Whereas, do you think they could come a season where they will slip yeah yeah. Definitely, like we saw it with Burnley, and I think Southampton yeah. could it could happen to them. It could happen next season, but I, I mean, I'm going to stay. I'm going to say they'll uh, stay, and maybe like a couple of players leave. It could go tits up. Like uh, James Ward Prowse, if he goes, mate, wave it goodbye. Okay, yeah. so Southampton surviving. Yeah, Nottingham Forest down. Really going down. Wow. It, would it be fair to say though, since Cooper came in, they've been wicked. they were the best team in the Championship. Uh, one of. Yeah, well, I think since he came in, they racked up the most points or equivalent to Fulham. Yeah, fair enough then. But yeah, like, um, I mean, in the Championship, that's great. With Fulham and Bournemouth, teams that have been in the Premier League. They have a bit more experience. A bit maybe. more experience and like, they've probably got a bit more money flowing through the club as well. And I mean, it's going to be, it's going to have to be an exciting transfer window for them, but I can't see them doing it, no. Wow. And then last team, Wolves surviving. Okay. Wolves massively overperformed this year. Massively overperformed. There was a talk that they might make Europe um, and I thought that was laughable. But they've, they've been alright, haven't they? No. No, in recent seasons, I'm saying. Oh, I mean... But you, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know where this drop-off's coming from because you think they'll be down near the bottom three. Yeah, shocking. Wow. They're just... They're not very good, though, like... I just... I, I, I didn't rate them last year. They seemed a very, very boring side. Uh, scraped a couple of one nils, and I thought... Like, it's not going to be long until this goes the wrong way and it started to go the wrong way heavily. And I think they they got found out towards the end of the season, and I don't know going into next season. I fear from. Wow. Yeah, I well, really do. Well, there you go. That wraps up our predictions. Very different to mine, but get your comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? Some there that are quite interesting. To be fair, like and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.